I want to talk a little bit about fruits of believers, like true believers. People are always saying to me, are they a believer? <laughs> is he a believer or is she a believer? Or, you know, you're dating people or you're in the church or out of the church. You know what? God is the only one that knows if they're a true believer. And I say that many will come in that day and the Lord will say he didn't even know them. There are certain signs that we have in the Bible that is about to tell us what the, the fruits are. So let's just go over them briefly. Who the Lord dwells with, how we can tell if, it's a belief, if, there's, if you're a believer or not. So first of all, he says he's, he's high and he's holy. And he dwells in the high and holy place. This is in Isaiah 57. But he also... Where he dwells on earth is with the contrite and humble spirit. Contrite and humble spirit. If a person has a humble spirit, I guarantee you, it's a pretty good chance God is dwelling with them. You don't see a humble spirit, run, 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 run. Especially if it's a pastor. So, humility. Big thing on God's list of who he dwells with. That's one way to tell them by their fruits. The next is the fruit of the Spirit. In Galatians 5, love, gentleness, joy, peace, meekness, patience, faith. All those fruits are something that can tell us if that's a true believer or not. Especially if you're going to follow somebody and they're not exhibiting those fruits. Run! <laughs> run away! If you're tapped into the Lord, you're going to be exhibiting those fruits in your life. Another way to tell is the true religious. Who's truly religious? In James, it's clear. It's the ones who visit the widows and orphans in their need. Are you visiting widows and orphans in their need? Are you, are you caring about starving children, women that are homeless, even your neighbors? If you're not, you don't have to religion. And if you are, most likely you're following the Lord. I don't care what people say as much as what's in their heart. And I have had the most beautiful, beautiful expressions of God's love shown to me by people who aren't quote unquote believers. And people who are believers, I've had them rip me to shreds. And so, I want to say that only God knows who's a true believer. He really is the only one that knows. One other way we can tell though, a wolf in sheep's clothing, so we don't get ripped off, is the Lord said, at the end of the day, he'll separate the sheep from the goats, right? Well, he says, and I love Mother Teresa, her line on this, she said, everybody wants to find Jesus and they want to serve Jesus. Well, not everybody, but they say they want to serve Jesus. Jesus says really clearly in Matthew 25 that if I was hungry and you fed me, and I was naked and you clothed me, and I was a stranger and you took me in, and I was sick and you visited me, then you did it to the Lord. So you want to be close to the Lord? You want to know somebody who's close to the Lord? Keep your eyes on someone who's feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, visiting the sick and those in prison and giving shelter. I just don't like anything that's not in lines with these principles that we've been given in the Word.